So now in this video we're going to take a quick look at the op amp current source. I'm using an LM358 right there. To make it more effective you would use the transistors and stuff um, but uh, this is still uh, very important to uh, understand if you want to make useful circuits. So uh, we have the trim pot here. Ultimately the trim pot sets the voltage across the current uh, setting resistor. It's 1000 uh, ohm resistor right there. So each volt We'll get about uh, one milliamp of current, uh, but there is output limits. I'm using 10 volts right there. The output, um, you're probably going to lose at least a volt, it, so maybe it can get like to nine volts. And then I'm using a red LED, so we got like a couple more volts um, that uh, it's, you know, it needs to build up across it. So maybe at this point we'll see about uh, seven volts, and I've been getting about seven uh, milliamps of current on uh, my power supply, which isn't as accurate as a multimeter, but it's close enough. So if I lower this to about seven volts, you know, it's gonna maintain that um, because that's the most voltage it can like output. Um, but then when I get to about six volts, we'll see about six uh, milliamps and then uh, down to five. And of course we lower it, it's gonna go down even more right there. So I'm gonna go up to five. And as I said before, uh, this is setting the output uh, voltage, so the trim pot. The resistor is actually setting the current. I'm gonna bump this up just a little bit, but we're gonna try to stay within five because I'm gonna take a resistor that's about half the resistance. Instead of 1,000, it's 510, so slightly above. But in any case, um, if it was 500 uh, ohms, for every one milliamp we got with the 1,000, this will give us two milliamps. So we should have twice the uh, current. It was five. Now it should be about 10. You know, it's uh, maybe slightly below or whatever. Again, this isn't as accurate as a multimeter. Um, but now, as I go down, um, the current's going to go down twice as fast right there um, because we have uh, half the resistance. So it's the voltage that the output's providing, and then, of course, the load's going to drop some uh, voltage. But ultimately, the voltage we get across the uh, resistor there is going to be same as the trim pot as long as that voltage can be provided. So if I set uh, one volt here um, we're going to get uh, one volt across that resistor since it's 510 ohms that's about two milliamps of current. And so now we'll zoom in. First off uh, let's talk about the integrated circuit right there. We need to power it uh, top right positive supply and then bottom left uh, negative supply right there. You can see we also have an op amp over here, so positive, negative, and uh, somebody recommended, and I believe they're right, that uh, you set uh, the plus to ground right there, and then put a jumper from the output to the input right there to make it a voltage follower, help lock it into a zero volts. Um, so usually you don't want to leave unused uh, circuitry just floating like this, um, but it's not the end of the world. But if you're making a, a realistic circuit, um, real world circuit I should say make sure and check the data sheet and its recommendations on what to do when you're not using uh, one of the circuits so I don't mention that in all of my videos and I don't put other stuff on there because then people are wondering what it's doing when it's not doing anything as far as our circuits concerned so uh, we have this again we have the trim pot setting the voltage and the way that we have this uh, wired up when you have this is called negative feedback because we have the output headed to the inverting input, which has a negative symbol uh, right there. And when you do this, uh, what the output is gonna do is try its best to uh, take whatever this voltage is and make the voltage the same right there. And uh, so if this is five volts, the output is gonna raise its voltage until this is five volts, and then it's gonna lock it in place. Or if it was already higher for whatever reason, it's going to lower it tilt. But uh, it's going to move the voltage until this is a 5 in whatever direction. Uh, the LED needs about 2 volts. So we need 7 volts at that point. Which looks like it's probably about the uh, maximum we can get here. Also, this lets through about 1 milliamp of current. We got 10 volts, 10,000 ohms. So that was added to the display. But we're going to uh, keep this simple. So, in any case... Um, Maybe we were maxed at six milliamps of current that could flow. Um, so let's go with that. So if uh, this needs uh, two volts and uh, we get six volts here, then uh, we need eight volts at the output. 
Hopefully that makes sense. Now, we have our uh, current setting resistor. I started with uh, 1,000 ohms. So, uh, let's say we go to 1 volt. This needs to be 3 because we dropped 2. But in any case, we'll have 1 volt here going across the uh, resistor. We'll get 1 milliamp of current. We step this up so that ultimately we get 5 uh, volts over here. That's also going to ground through that resistor. We'll get like 5 milliamps of uh, current flowing through there. So again, this will be like 5, but that will be 7 because the LED drops like 2. you got to take into account what the load is going to need. But the load doesn't set the current. Ultimately, it's the voltage that you get here based on that voltage. That will be across the resistor and setting how much current flows. And so, if uh, we're getting twice as much current at any given voltage as we want, we could just uh, t do uh, twice the resistance and we'd end up with half of the current flow right there. It's that simple. Uh, so one volt, we'll get like 0.5 milliamps current. If we bump it up to five volts, 2.5 milliamps current. And as I demonstrated before, I don't have 500 ohm resistors, at least not in this kit. I have 510, so it'll be a spec uh, lower when it comes to the current. Um, but we'll get about two milliamps of current for the same voltage that we had with uh, the 1000 ohm resistor because it's half the resistance. So five volts. 10 milliamps of current uh, right there. So yeah, I put a little note on this diagram for people that just come across the diagram, don't really watch uh, uh, the videos that uh, you have to always keep into account. We got this voltage. That's going to be the voltage there, but the load also needs voltage. Red LED is really simple. It needs about 2 volts. Blue LED needs about 3 volts, these little indicator LEDs. So that's going to be less voltage that you will be able to get over here. And uh, so at some point, you'll keep raising the voltage to the trim pot, but you won't be getting any more current because the output was already limited. The LM358 cannot go to the full supply voltage. I believe it's losing closer to 2 volts. So this is probably a maximum of 8 volts that we can get out of here just because of the uh, component there. And I believe we're probably getting like 6 volts there because some of that current we saw was going through the trim pot. So, in any case, uh, yeah, hopefully that all makes sense. It's a really cool circuit to uh, get more power. You also use a transistor, which again, gets you a little less of voltage that you'll be able to uh, be able to use. Um, but uh, transistors can provide a lot more current than the output of the LM358. And so, you know, you'll see that a lot. But hopefully this makes sense and other current source videos using op amps now will make sense. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help a lot. I'll see you in the next video.